Hi, welcome to this video. We're going to develop now exercises one to four of the short run trade off between inflation and unemployment. Remember, this is a book of Gregory Monkey Principles of Economics. So, the first question says Suppose the natural rate of unemployment is 6%. On one graph, draw two Phillips curves that describe the four situations listed here. Label the point that shows the position of the economy in each case. First, actual inflation is 5% and expected inflation is 3%. So here in this situation we have a difference or a gap between actual inflation and expected inflation. As a consequence we have that the unemployment rate is lower than the natural rate of unemployment. B actual inflation is 3% and expected inflation is 5%. Then is the opposite, higher are the natural rate of unemployment. Then uh, C, actual inflation is 5% and expected inflation is 5%. So there is going to be zero this part. So then the unemployment rate is exactly equal to the natural rate of unemployment. And the other case exactly the same, just for 3%. Now how we can grab them? So here we have the y-axis inflation. In the x-axis we have the unemployment rate. We have this one, the, uh, the natural unemployment, which is perfectly uh, vertical. So there is no uh, relationship between these two variables. We have here 6%. We have the situation of the curves B and D and the situation of the curves A, C. The, the first one for B and D is uh, when the actual inflation is 3% uh, and expected inflation is 5% and then uh, the situation of D when we have 3% and expected inflation 3% because at this point the, uh, the uh, unemployment rate is exactly equal to the uh, unemployment natural rate. Second illustrate the effects of the following developments on both the short run and long run Phillips curves. Give the economic reasoning underlying your answers. A. A rise in the natural rate of unemployment. Well, this is based, uh, based on a structural changes. So maybe if you're thinking about more um, people in like migration inside the country, so naturally the um, natural rate will be higher. So then if we start from the situation of the of P1 where the prices one and the E unemployment N was the equilibrium, then it's going to have a move to the unemployment rate to the to the right side where definitely the natural rate will be uh, higher and the prices will be uh, lower in in, in in that in that case. Then B. A decline in the price of imported oil. Well, this is an example of the shock of a shock on supply. So opposite the, the chapter that we have an increase in prices, then we have a decrease. So then it's going to be a contraction of the short run Philip curve. So then as a consequence, we are going to face um, prices too and exactly the same level natural unemployment as R2. Then a rise in government spending. So when we have this one, um, is a deep uh, shift to the right to the aggregate demand, and as a consequence, what we have here is a move uh, throughout the curve. Then we're going to still be in the in the short run equilibrium, and sorry, in the short run Phillips curve. Now we're going to move to P2, and then it's going to be a lower and unemployment rate, at least temporary, compared with the natural one. This is going to be the, the, the move throughout the curve without any shift. D, a decline in expected inflation. Well, if you have here a decrease here, you're going to have this one, this gap should be higher and then multiply by this constant is going to have an unemployment rate even lower. So then uh, as a consequence, we have that this situation will provide a shift to the, to the, to the left and then on a lower level of prices. Three, suppose that a fall in consumer spending causes a recession. A. Illustrate the immediate change in the economy using both an aggregate supply aggregate demand diagram on a Phillips curve diagram. 
On both graphs, uh, label the initial long run equilibrium as a point A and the resulting short run equilibrium as point B. What happens to inflation and unemployment in the short run? So then this is the situation of the aggregate uh, demand and supply. We start from equilibrium, then it's going to have a fall in consumer spending, keeping all the other variables exactly the same. We're going to have a shift to the left of the aggregate demand. Is going to have uh, we're going to have AD2, then we're going to face lower level of price and lower level of output. And then here we have the, the Phillips curves, the, the move, we're going to have move throughout the curve, then we're going to face naturally lower lower uh, level of, of prices and then on um, this adjustment uh, compared with the natural rate of in unemployment depends on where you put. In this case I put on the middle so we pass from P1 to P2 so there is a disequilibrium in the long run. B. Now suppose that over uh, time expect expected inflation changes in the same direction that actual inflation changes. What happens to the position of the short run Phillips curve? After the recession is over, does the economy face a better or worse set of inflation and employment combinations? Explain. Well, here we have exactly the same situation as before. And then uh, what, what happened with the, with the, with the, with the, uh, with the Phillips curve? Well, if we have here the situation, imagine that we start from the point of U1, P1, so then with the with the recover naturally the aggregate demand will shift to the right again so we're going to face the same level of prices and the same level of output then we are going to have the same p1 and u1 due to the movement throughout the curve of the phillips curve four suppose the economy is in a long run equilibrium draw the key economies short run and long run phillips curves so then we have the situation of the long run uh, uh, phillips curve where we have here the equilibrium so this is the basic so the answer for the a part suppose a wave of business pessimism uh, reduces aggregate demand show the effect of this chalk on your, on your diagram from part a if the Fed undertakes expansionary monetary policy, can it return the economy to its original inflation rate and original employment rate? Well, we have this one, this was the initial part, when we have a decrease in prices due to the uh, Due, due to the decrease in the aggregate demand, so we're going to lie down in P2 and U2. And then when we have an expansionary monetary policy that we cover into the aggregate demand, so definitely we can reach again P1 and U1. C. Now suppose the economy is back in long run equilibrium and then the price of imported oil rises. Show the effect of this chalk with a new diagram like, in, like that in part A. If the Fed undertakes expansionary monetary policy, can it return the economy to its original inflation rate and original in unemployment rate? If the Fed underta undertakes contractionary monetary policy, can it return the economy to its original inflation rate and original employment rate? Explain. So then we have here uh, the same situation, the Phillips curve, but then due to the the, the situation of the of the increase, um, we have here that then the price important oil rises, so we have a shock in supply, so then a a, a movement for uh, for Phillips curve to the to the right. So then we're going to face. Uh, at this point, um, we're going to have lower, lower uh, unemployment, right? And the same level of prices of the short run. We, we have here a situation, but then, we, th sorry, this is going to be this one at the same level, I'm a higher employment. But then in the long run, we're going to move back to U1. So the level of unemployment will remain the same, just an increase in the level of prices. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope it has helped to solve your, uh, your, your problems. As I said, every single video, this is subtle. This is the way how I solve these exercises. Maybe you can find a way that is easier or even I'm wrong. It could be the case. I hope not, but I'm more than open and I'm more than happy to hear your comments. Okay, thumbs up if you like it. Uh, subscribe, uh, share my videos. That's it. Bye-bye.